Hi, welcome to MatchFUK.com. The day is the 17th of July. Uh, starting as always with the Met Office charts for the UK. Um, also, we can see high pressure over the British Isles. Uh, some low pressure skirting the top uh, of Scotland, just about touching Scotland, the Northern Isles, giving them some renal drizzle at first. Um, but basically it's a dry sort of picture at the moment and quite warm if not hot in places. Uh, temperatures could reach 31 today in places especially in central and uh, southern England and more like um, 21, 23 in the north of Scotland um, and uh, again 24, 25 in Ireland. Um, Going a little bit ahead um, into the sort of the end of the month and the beginning of August, um, I'm still going more with my sort of original idea of low pressure over uh, to, the, to the north for the British Isles and low pressure to the south. Now, as you remember on my long range forecast, um, I suggested that we would get high pressure um, over Scandinavia and low pressure forming to the south and west and although the models want to push the lows um, troughs over the British Isles eventually um, I'm not entirely convinced my thoughts at the moment would be for a high pressure to be sat more or less where it is now. Uh, this is um, the Met Office chart for what's it, Sunday. And um, I think this is the general trend where we get is a sort of a ring of high pressure up to the north. Okay, uh, quite an area, a tense area up here. And I think low pressure then will develop something like this and uh, we'll be caught into a, a sort of a easterly or south um, northeasterly rather um, airflow and quite strong with the two um, pressure gradient differences uh, then we got a squeeze of the isobars and uh, this will increase the winds um, very strong easterly winds in the south so feel it a bit cooler along the south coast and uh, parts of the east coast was still very warm uh, in central and western districts uh, Wales and uh, and of course Ireland and Scotland remaining dry throughout uh, with very high temperatures well into the high 70s here what do GFS think about this well they're more or less going with the same idea as me at the moment. Uh, with low pressure forming to the southwest, uh, where they differ is that they want to push the low over the British Isles. Uh, we'll see, uh, but I got a feeling that this is wrong. And um, ECMWF again going with that idea of low pressure over the British Isles and. Uh, High is a bit more further north, but like I said before, um, my idea, and I'm, I'm going to stick to it, is at the moment highs here and basically low pressure, something like that, over France and Spain, dragging in very warm air, but a lot of thunderstorms okay so beware and so there's a high risk of in these thunderstorms um, with the air a pretty cold pool of air on, on, at higher levels uh, deep convection will take place and we could get um, some hail mixed in with it and also some of the showers again like I say could produce flooding in places so Southern England and Wales look like turning unsettled and showery with thunderstorms very possible 
uh, whereas the, the north will be an influence of this high pressure, so I predict that uh, it will stay warm and dry here, that is uh, over Scotland and parts of Northern England and Northern Ireland. So we'll see where that sort of pans out in the future. Um, But anyway, thanks for watching and I uh, hope to give another video very shortly. Hope you enjoy my new website and um, until we see you again, whatever your weather, enjoy it. Bye for now.